I see the logbooks come out. Yeah, we haven't. Um, we didn't use the logbook for the two little test sales, um, but uh, we're think, doing a passage. Do you think we should have done? I mean, considering this morning's crisis. <laughs> well, I needed to find the logbook for a start. And you've forgotten uh, how to fill it in. Oh, God, yeah. I've completely forgotten how to fill it in. But luckily, I've got other ones in the book. So, um, yeah, just uh, forgotten completely. But because it's um we're just going to go up to Larn Lock today um but um we finished our contract today so it's a good thing it's sailing well weather because we've got to get How do you feel about getting out of Carrick? <laughs> um, sad to leave because we've made a lot of friends there and we were quite comfortable. Probably a bit too comfortable, truth be told, but there you go. Um, it's also a little apprehensive coming out after doing, having done so little sailing over such a while, you know. And um, it's just going to take time to get back into the groove. But we're getting back into the groove. Um, I've got to do a bit of sail trim. I'm not getting the best out of my head, out of my main sail, but I'll, I'll adjust it in a minute or two. And the wind, of course, is in exactly the direction we want to travel, so it's tack, tack, tack. So what are you doing, Beth? Um, flatten the sail out. We're we'll putting a bit of kicker onto it to flatten the sail out. Um, to see we're going to be... I'd just like to be in, in the actual shop. There. And just using the kicker to flatten the sail out to see if we can get um, more power from the sail. That's all. But I'd like to get back to the helm, please. <laughs> I've got things to be doing up there and we're on a direct collision course with Killerite so it'd be a good idea to pay attention to what's going on. <laughs> Get those telltales up. That's looking a bit more promising. Yeah, I've got my telltale lot better. I can see it flap in there nicely. Yeah. So what are you actually doing to improve your sail trim, Bev? <laughs> I'm just moving the I'm just moving the main sheet around till the till the uh, telltale's left. Nothing outrageous. I'm just watching the sail, and I'm just moving it across the wind until I see the telltale's flying. When the telltale's are flying, I should be getting more power from the sail. And um, personally, I think we're going 10% slower. But there you go. <laughs> it's not taking us long to get back in the groove um, I've just done we've just changed tack so I've just done um, the sail adjustments um, and I'm basically looking for um, the telltales on the um, Genoa to be nice in nicely in line inside and out and I think I've got that okay um, um, we adjust the kicker to bring the um, the front of the sail down. Now, because Beverly had adjusted that, I didn't need to adjust that one, but at least I know what I'm looking for, for a nice flat sail at the front of the, of the main. Um, and we've adjusted the uh, main sheet, just so that my telltales are flying nicely. I've got my traveller all the way across onto the windward side. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased. It's not taking us long just to get back into the swing of it. So hopefully we can only go get better from here. <laughs>
So what sort of days have been? Definitely challenging. One of the major challenges I had <laughs> was getting back into my mullions. Oh dear, the plague, the pandemic pines, the COVID kilograms. I don't know what it is, but I tell you now, I've definitely put on weight with the COVID. So, uh, as Beverly says, our diet starts today. <laughs> and that's only because she's thrown off the cheese, she's throwing out the biscuits. <laughs> no, we have actually got some biscuits, but... And you've got loads of cheese. I know, but it's just, uh, no, because I, I really struggle just to get into the mullions. But um, we've been sailing at about 15, 20 degrees. <laughs> of heel. Of heel. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, definitely a wee bit more challenging than we expected. And we have seen four six out here, just, just in gusts, but we have seen it. That this was supposed to be a nice gentle sail. Four to three. Two, two to three. Yeah. Um, no, we've had white caps out here. Um, we've had a meter to a meter and a half as well, so that makes it sea state moderate. Yeah. But the thing is, what I really like though is the fact that we have sailed it all. Um, you know, there's the engine went off just outside Carrick, and it's still off. So yeah, we'll sailing all the way. Yep. So we're now in approach to Larn Lock. Um, we probably won't make it on this tack. No, we'll probably do it on the next tack. But it's a bit touch and go. It is. But um, we've decided just to go to Larn Lock. Just sort of like because it's a shorter sail. It's still a good couple of hours, don't get me wrong. We wanted a nice gentle sail to ease us back into sailing and we got this. <laughs> And that's why Beverly said for sex from Stacey at moderate. Yeah, but I still think we have at least sailed it. Um, you know, so. But yeah, we have sailed it. We've tacked the hell out of this one, just like we did the last time we came here. <laughs> Are you photographing soup, you sad person? Oh, well, I said the diet was starting. <laughs> so I've done some exercise today. First time in... Months. Months. I know we've done the little test sales, but it just feels like we haven't been out. They didn't, uh, they didn't really stretch us the way today did. No, today stretched us. Today was exercise. And um, now I'm having my uh, tea, which is a mug of soup. So, yeah. So we're at anchor and we've got the heater on already. Absolutely. And hot soup. Yeah. Do. What more could you ask for? More food! <laughs> <laughs> we're currently in um, Lawn Lock at the little secret anchorage. So uh, well, That's we'll not a... secret anymore, is it? You've just told them where we are. <laughs> I know, we'll put a thing up there. Uh, but we're just going to do a little short hop um, to uh, Glen Arm because, again, we just want to get back into the groove, really, of sailing. Um, so another little short hop will just improve our skills, make us better. The problem is to get round the corner from here, it's six knots all the way up to the corner. And if you're late for any reason, you miss the corner. Yeah. And, and the although six the... knots is doable from here, don't get me wrong, it is doable. But to have that thinness of, thinness margin, of yeah. margin, it's just not something that Beverly and I fancy. Whereas so, if we hop up to Glen Arm and then go around the corner from there, it's four hours. Then it's four hours and you've got two hours of margin. You know, that to us just makes perfect sense. And if you've seen the corner, you'd know why we want the margin. <sighs> yeah. So how's it going, Beverly? I'm having deja vu. Last time we went from Lauren to Glenarm, I was sitting with a, 
the main sheet doing exactly what I'm doing now. You know, easing it in the gusts, putting it in in the um, in the non gusts. Uh, we were doing six knots. We're now down to a pedestrian four. So um, I think a bit more pulling in might be indicated. Accelerate, salty lass, come on, you can do it, you know you wanna. Actually, that slowed us down, so. So then, how's it going? <laughs> We're definitely in the salty last classroom at the moment because <laughs> we've had a scroll line so we're having to temper the sails uh, for that. We've now got very little wind on a beam reach so we're having to adjust the sails for that and I wouldn't mind but we've only gone about, what, a mile, mile and a half? North we made our first waypoint. We have but it's just the fact that we've gone from speeding along and speeding now, along, yeah we were doing six and a half knots and now we're doing three and a half knots you know and it's just um just so completely different so what's the emergency plan if we don't if we, if we fall behind our second waypoint what do we do our second um, waypoint is um we're gonna basically go to glen arm uh we've got it organized so that uh if we were doing sort of six knots uh, for the for the run, we'd got it marked at five. Um, we would be going to um, Bally Castle. Bally Castle, sorry, to Bally Castle. Um, but we've had a backup plan, um, and this is why we'd put waypoints in so that we knew where we needed to be at certain times. So if we fall behind badly on then, waypoint two, we go to Glen Arm. If we make waypoint two and fall badly behind on waypoint three, we turn round and, and go back to Glen Arm. Um, well, but by waypoint three, we have to make a decision. Yeah. And but it's just the fact. If that we make waypoint three on time and the weather's holding, then we should make four and five. Yeah. And there's only five of them. There is, but it's just the fact that this is how we set up our course. But we're now. Um, our speed has dropped dramatically again. So whereas before we were on six, now we're on, um, are we on Ben? Just under four. It's under picked four. up a little bit. But like I say, this is the salty last classroom. We've had two tacks, we've had two heave twos, we've had a jibe. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely in the classroom here. We're getting it all today. Yeah. just taken um, our um, five o'clock uh, measurement and um, we are quite considerable distance behind where we should have been if we wanted to do an ideal run. Um, we're under motor, you know we're not sailing so we're not getting any fun out of it so um, our decision is that we'll go into Glen Arm um, and then take it from there the next tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. But tomorrow's another day and you'll get completely different conditions and you'll probably get completely different conditions from the weather forecast but we will see what we will see and that's why it's an adventure not a trip. We shall read the next chapter in that best-selling book of fiction, The Weather Forecast. <laughs> so we will but we're behind so I know it is. <laughs> <laughs>